How's it going, man? Almost done, ladies. So summer's almost over, and I feel like I need to tell you like an outdoorsy type summer story. So here's one about a surfer slash skater that gets stuck in Ohio in January. Wow, I really screwed that one up, didn't I? Anyway, this one's called Airborne. I want to see if he's going to cry. Are you ready? Hit it. So we meet this kid, Mitch, who likes rollerblading to the beach. When they get there, we find out that him and his friend either have surfboards in their backpacks or up their butts. You don't worry about what the shark has stuffed up his butt. Well, maybe they just bought him there. Well, the way he talks about surfing implies that he has his own board. Well, I don't go anywhere without my stick. That might be transported up his butt. Who put the sticks up their butts? What? No, that's just a... Uh, that is cruel. He goes home where he pets his dog and thanks his rollerblades. You guys were awesome today. Gracias. His parents break the news that they're going to Australia for work, and he has to go live in Ohio with his aunt and uncle and his cousin that he's apparently never heard of. They have a boy just your age, Cousin Wiley. So he gets to get landlocked in Ohio after Christmas, where he brings his surfboard to show everyone he's from California and doesn't fit in. So you surf, huh? But what makes him really not fit in is the fact that he keeps saying all this weird hippie crap. You take the waves with you, right? It's a consciousness, right? Sir? What's consciousness? Uh -huh. Are you kidding? Everything we need to know is in our dreams, man. They're windows to enlightenment. Chill, bro. Let it go, man. Did he just call you a piece of underwear? He meets his dorky family, including his cousin Wiley, who dresses like some beatnik 90s poetry chick. I hope the girls don't think I had a chubby all day. You're a poet. They take him home, where it seems that since his parents couldn't take the dog to Australia, that they killed the dog. Those buttholes. Oh no, not the slash dog. Wiley shows Mitch to his bedroom in the basement, but I don't think his parents let him move down there to be cool, but more because they walked in on him touching himself too many times. He's becoming a man. <laughs> you know, he's never really had a girlfriend. Ma. The next day, he starts school, where we find out that his old high school must have had better ways of walking down hallways. He also almost gets murdered by a 15-year-old Mexican leprechaun. Help! Help! It's happening! The attack is on! The, the leprechaun is attacking! He then goes to speech class, where he's again almost murdered because he makes this guy Jack's girlfriend forget how to sit. But then everyone wants to kill him after his speech. Please, brother, please. Jack invites Wiley to play hockey, where I guess the ref is cool with them fighting. I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything to fight. Nothing? Jack sees that his girlfriend is still flirting with Mitch. Yeah, there's the big hole where the sausage factory used to be. So to keep Jack from being mad at him, he hits on this other girl, Nikki, by telling her a story about how he almost killed a child. There's blood everywhere. Kid nearly drowned. You are so sweet. And this school must be okay with just anyone joining the team because they put Mitch in after Wiley gets hurt. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. And he scores a goal for the other team. Jack tackles him because of it and no one makes sure he's okay. Just a little spill, no big deal. Wiley was so worried about him that he went and changed clothes and then wakes him up after everyone left. I thought you were dead, man, are you all right? The next day, they start playing pranks on them for not being good at sports that they were forced to play. They don't kill you for losing hockey games, man. You don't know these guys, Mitchell, they are mean. <laughs> I'm being stalked by trained psychopaths. They even take Mitch's clothes while he's in the shower. Without it, I'm naked. Which is unfair, but he does poop in public. Animal! So at least he had this one coming. So he chooses not to wipe at all and go to class. You better watch your step if you know what's good for you. He goes home to find someone mailed him his rollerblades. And I'm hoping that after he showered, he goes skating. But considering how excited he is, I doubt he did. I like the smell. He then bumps into Nikki and she interrupts his skating to show him flowers. But he can't stand listening to anyone else talk about themselves. You're right, I do. So he straps on his skates and tries to knock her over a few times. I can't take it anymore, man. They get kicked out, but somehow it happens to be exactly when her bus pulls up. Maybe she just wants to get away from him. Well, normally I would agree with you, but she sets up a double date for him and Wiley that weekend. He celebrates by going to the skate park and touching his toes. What do you feel happy about? He finally makes some friends and then purposely ditches them on the stairs. You just make friends wherever you go? He goes home to tell Wiley, but he's busy brushing his teeth. So he goes to surf on his bed. 
How are the waves breaking today, Mitchell? And it seems that he's so into this that he completely forgets everything he knows about geography. South Bay, South Africa. Even more awesome because he's in Cincinnati. Yes, Cincinnati. Never been done before. Friday rolls around, and Wiley is so excited that he writes his date's name and shampoo on the wall, and then has a girls just want to have fun clothes changing montage. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah, girls just want to have fun. They just want to. They just want to. Isn't that what you wear every day? Do you think Papa ever worried about what he wore just so he could get olive oil in the sack? They go to dinner, where the preps go after the girls. <laughs> Don't you miss me? But Jack comes in to scare them off. You're not afraid of him, are you? But it turns out that Blaine is Nikki's ex, and Jack is Nikki's brother. And now he wants to fight Mitch. I'm gonna do everybody a big favor, save a little time, and just kick your little butt right now. Mitch tells off Jack, Because I could give two left testicles about you, your school, or your hockey game. And it seems that hitting his head made him bad at math. It's only for six months. You've been doing it for three weeks now. I'm out of here in three months. Well, Nikki doesn't like his speech, and leaves. And Wiley just leaves them there too. Isn't it January in Ohio? He could die! Or it could be March. Mitch is just a terrible timekeeper. You know you were the first smiling face I've seen in three weeks. But now that he can't date Nikki, he wants her even more. He has a dream that he interprets as his life, and that he needs to go after Nikki. What? I had this dream. Was it a dream where you see yourself standing in sort of sun god robes on a pyramid with a thousand naked women screaming and throwing little pickles at you? And have Gandhi roll over in his grave? I don't think so. Why am I the only person that has that dream? He decides that he's going to try to earn Jack's respect by playing hockey. I don't know what he thinks, but he better leave. Instead, he gets the team to like him by pulling down some kid's pants. Whoa, the old hiney hairs are wound a little too tight on that one, eh, dude? <laughs> They've been challenged to the skating race, and they need his help. Serious? Very. Apparently, they're allowed to kill each other during the race, because they certainly try. They also constantly go in the wrong lane and almost get hit by cars. That's why you should always wear a helmet and knee pads, because you never know when you're going to fall down and go boom. And because there's no rules, the two terrible skaters decide to cheat and cut through people's backyards. This guy's been around the block more than a few times. So they're on this road known as the Devil's Backbone, but they go off-road and under some bridges and in a parking garage. So is this a skating course that everyone in Cincinnati knows about? Welcome to Cincinnati, young fella. Yeah. Because Mitch runs into some construction when he gets lost and has to damage someone's car to jump off the building. You don't mess around with other people's property. Blaine tries to push Mitch off a cliff, but goes over himself. Sh shark! The shark! Made Josh look like a guppy, man. And his name was Peppy. He then goes over to Jack and helps him up so they can win the race. And because they won, Jack is also cool with Mitch dating his sister because he gets to graduate having beaten the preps at something. So is he gonna stay in Ohio to be with her? Three months, you think I'm gonna waste my time on you or anyone else? You ain't worth it. Do we ever find out if his dog is okay? Eh, his parents work for the zoo, so I'm sure he's fine. Oh, Slash, you dog dog, what you been doing? Chasing cats to run about T-Bone? Now you're gonna subscribe to this channel. It'll be fun, honey, trust us. Yeah. You'll see. Look at it as an adventure. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. That was really great! That was fantastic! <laughs>